What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I want to talk about something very important, and that's passwords. So, as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to talk about something that's very important, you know, and this is something that I like to cover a lot, especially when we talk about issues like privacy and protecting your personal data online. Passwords is one of the most important things that you need to be aware of when it comes to those topics, because there are a lot of people still out there using the same password for every account that they use online. They can have the same password for a bank account that they have for a social media account. And that's very bad because if someone hacks your social media account with the password, find out what that password is, then that's maybe the same password for your bank account and they could possibly get into it depending on if your bank has not upgraded their security which most banks have they make you make complex passwords and that's one of the reasons why i wanted to do this video because when you're making multiple passwords that are totally different and extremely long then you need a way to manage that and i wanted to cover five different password managers that i suggest that you guys check out and try out so you can manage all your passwords and just keep everything secure so you don't have to worry about those issues when it comes to privacy so let's go on and get started okay cool so this is the first one i want to talk about and this is like one of my favorite password managers and that's mainly because you can it has a local application that you can install on your laptop and the back end of keypass xc is a database and it encrypts when you close it so no one can actually get into your database that house all your passwords unless they know the password or the encryption key or if they get a hold of your encryption key but like i stated this is one of my favorite ones this is what i currently use to manage all my passwords and i keep this on my desktop and every time i reinstall as well as other laptops that i use i have this application and i share the database between multiple systems and it doesn't matter where you put the database at you can put it on a cloud application like google drive or something and you can connect to it from multiple locations but let's read a little bit about it it says key pass uh, cross-platform password manager and that's one cool thing about key pass you know it's available on all the major platforms so mac os linux and windows and it says never forget a password again securely store passwords using industry standard encryption quickly auto type them into the desk into desktop applications and use our browser extension to log into websites so they do have a browser extension you can install that i don't use it I just mainly gr grab my passwords from my password manager once I open it up and log into my uh, my sites or whatever I'm trying to get into at the moment. And then make sure I log out and close the browser once I'm done. But as you can see, it used industry standard 256 bit AES, uh, fully compatible with KeyPass password safe formats. Uh, your password database works offline and requires no internet connection. And that's, like I said, one of the cool things about this application. You don't need to be on the internet, unlike a lot of these other password managers where they store a lot of your passwords in the, on the web. You can completely have this thing offline uh, and manage it from there. You just wanna make sure you do backups or have you know, some backup of the database somewhere else in case your computer dies. But like I said, it's cross-platform, you know what I'm saying? So Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And it's also open source. It uses the GNU general public license and made available on GitHub. So super dope. And the current version is 2.6.6, uh, which was released June 12th, uh, 2021. So you can actually get it from here download for uh, Linux and the site automatically recognizes what operating system you have because it's saying download for Linux because I'm on a Linux operating system but if you were on Windows it'll say download for Windows 
but you can also donate to the project which is super cool you know i always recommend people do that but let me show you a couple of screenshots uh, so you can see what it actually looks like but this is the login screen so if you have an existing database which I do a lot of times when I'm opening it up on a different distribution or something like that uh, you can open that existing database and then log in using your password or or the key that you have if you have a key and then this is what it kind of looks like once you log into it or this is actually unlocking the database right there you can have a key file like i said or a hardware key uh and then also type in a password if you just have a password on there and then this is how it actually works when you're setting up the database you can name the database whatever you want so that's part of the process as well and then let's see, I'm gonna close this out, but I wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like uh, when you're in it. But this is how you store your password. So it's super cool. They used to didn't have where the logos are pulled down, but when you put in the URLs, you can actually pull down, you know, the kind of logo of the website that this password is associated with. Instead of looking for just the text, you know, you can look and find things easier with the icon there for the actual website that you're going to. But you can organize everything. You can put it in di under different folders, so to speak, um, and separate everything out. And that way you can easily find things there. But you can also search up here and that'll help you find whatever you're looking for as well, pretty quickly. Now let's go on and go to the next one I wanted to show you guys, but the next one is LastPass. And it's this, this is a super cool company behind it. That's why I recommend it. I mean, a lot of this stuff is online. It's pretty much an online password manager. And it was actually created by Log Me In. Uh, and if you guys have worked in the tech field, you've obviously heard of Log Me In. I know that's that's one of the OG remote desktop connection uh applications where you can you know log into people's computers or if you have multiple computers on your own uh, you can log into them through log me in i think now you can only log into a certain amount of systems you know without buying an account or paying for an account but if you have a business license you can log into as many computers as you want you just have to install the software the log me in software client software on the systems that you're trying to connect to but anyway i really like that company i remember using it when i first got into it that's something that i use to manage a lot of computers uh log me in as well as connecting to windows computers whenever i needed to um like my own personal computer at the house i can long as it's on and the log me in application is started you can connect to it from anywhere in the world and fix whatever problems. Like I remember back in the day, I installed LogMeIn on my parents' computer and they stay, I think I was overseas at the time, but I used to use LogMeIn to help them with computer issues uh, at that time. So LogMeIn is a good company. You know what I'm saying? It, it may be a little expensive, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're running a business, but uh, they do have a free version, at least from what I remember um to use log me in but LastPass. let me get back to the password manager but LastPass is the password manager uh and like i said you can store all your passwords there and it syncs across all devices as long as you have the application installed let's say it's on your phone or on a tablet or something like that uh last pass you know it kind of syncs so as you add passwords to it and accounts and all that stuff it'll sync across the little cloud platform that they have uh, to all your other devices that you have. And then also it says LastPass, puts your digital life at your fingerprints, fingertips uh, simply and securely. And they have a personal version, secure every one of your passwords and store it across all your devices. And then they have a business version, which it says protect every access point while seemingly connecting employees to their work. So. They do have that and then here are a few of the options it says autopilot file passwords uh i think they have that one password thing well once you log in the last pass it'll log you into all your other accounts um you know as you go to those websites and they also have some other stuff in there but this is a great company i've i've been told about it i haven't used it personally but other guys that I know in the IT field, they actually use LastPass. They tell me about it. They rave on how great 
the application is. So I just wanted to throw this on the list for all you uh, LastPass guys out there. So let's move on to the next one. The next one is Buttercup. And this one is super cool. You know, it's uh, it says the password manager you deserve. It's a very privacy centric password manager. Uh, as you can see, it uses the same 256 bit AES encrypted vault that meets today's security standards. Rest assured that your credentials are safe. Uh, simple, easy to use interface. And it's, this one has a cool interface. I really like it. And it's available on Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. It's an application. And it says Buttercup for desktop is a beautiful, simple password manager designed to help manage your credentials. Buttercup uses very strong encryption, which like I said up there, 256, uh, to protect your sensitive details under a single master password. Feel free to use stronger and more complex passwords for each service and let Buttercup store them securely, which is, you know, it's pretty much the same as KeePass, same thing. I was thinking about trying it out and just seeing if I can import my database into Buttercup, just see if I could test it out, just play around with it and see if I actually like the interface uh, better because it actually looks cool. And I, I haven't used this thing, but one cool thing about it, I saw that it had a mobile app. And so I thought that would be cool to actually try out, uh, you know what I'm saying? But they also have a Chrome extension, uh, Mozilla Fox extension, and you know other browsers i think they do have some extensions for uh other browsers as well but it's an open source password manager uh it's super cool it was made by perry mitchell and sally caboli uh in finland so super cool application based on what i've i've read as as well as the news and i need to go down and install it so i could test it out for myself but it has a lot of raving views i've talked to a couple people and they say they do use buttercup i haven't used it personally but i heard great things about it so i'm gonna try it out myself and even though i haven't used some of these applications uh they based on the recommendations that were given to me i want to recommend them to you because at the end of the day it's kind of like one of those things where i rather have it and not need it then need it and not have it. Same thing with the password manager. You need a password manager. Uh, it's best to have one, you know, to prevent yourself from using the same passwords across all your different accounts. So you need to go down and get one, in my opinion. So just do your research and try to find which one you think will work best for you. Now, the next one that I wanna recommend is Bitwarden. Now I heard this one, you know, cost a little money, or whatever uh i think it has an app that you pay for or it's three dollars a month okay there we go no that's team organization personal plan here we go so the basic account is free so it's free forever you get the core features of big warden personal vault and managing your private data safely from any location device and device type and if we go over to the downloads page, I just want to show you guys, it is cross-platform as well. So they have a desktop application uh, that for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So uh, it, it is available on Linux. And then also web browsers. They have an integrated Bitwarden, you know, directly into your favorite browser. So it, it's a browser extension, just like all the others. Uh, and it's, it's, and it's cool that it works with a lot more browsers. Uh, and that's super cool that it's in Brave. That's one cool thing about it. That's one of my favorite browsers, which is, you know, Brave. And then also they have a mobile app and they also have a command line tool. So I thought that was super cool. Uh, it says use our password command line tool to write and execute scripts on your Bitwarden vault. So super cool that they have that. And in the web access, you can access your web access your vault from the web so super cool you can back up everything you know and keep it up there if you want to or you can keep it locally in the application now the last one i want to show you guys is in pass and this one looks super cool as well uh it has you know a lot of the same features the features of everything else of all these other applications that i've shown you so far 
uh it says you were not born to remember passwords impasse is the secure vault to store everything at one place using a single master password pretty much just like all the others you have a master password you log into it it unlocks the database or decrypts the database with all your passwords in it and then you can access whatever you need from there and one cool thing i didn't talk about in a lot of these uh applications what it does is you can generate the passwords that you want uh you can specify the length or how strong you want the password as well as auto filling it in different sites that you pull up you know all of these password managers have those features included but one thing i saw about impasse that i didn't see in any of the others but they do you can do a password audit so that's super cool just to see what passwords you have in your database that are weak or maybe compromised and that's one thing i always recommend to people is to change your passwords at least like every 90 days or so um on most of your accounts or most of the accounts that you normally use a lot you know i recommend you at least change the password like every 90 days or so and it's super simple doing that when you have a password manager now one thing about this one it actually costs this one actually costs money uh it says start with the desktop app it says get impasse desktop app for your windows mac os uh and linux device now this one actually costs a little money uh, as you can see it's two dollars a month individual plan uh, for personal use unlimited items uh, and you have to subscribe you know to their license and all that stuff so um i i only put this one up just to show people all the options that are out there you know what i'm saying it's i don't think it's free and open source um but based on the reviews that i've heard about impasse uh it's a good password manager as well but you can easily accomplish what you're trying to accomplish using buttercup or you know key pass or uh last pass any of these others but i just want to throw that option out there that they do have something that you could pay for and i think they come with a little bit more features uh security alerts for website breaches so uh, that's something that they provide so you're getting a little bit more features uh for using impasse but that's pretty much it on my list that's my five password managers uh that i want to at least show you guys and recommend if i could because like i said it's always best to have a password manager it will help you at the end of the day with keeping yourself more private online by not having to worry about remembering passwords as well as using very complex passwords so you don't have to worry about getting hacked or someone actually get into your account now there's always that chance of somebody getting the database and if you have it unlocked in any way then someone can get your stuff out of it but that's why i always have it in my head as soon as i get what i need out of it i close it right away that way it locks the database and it's encrypted and that's how it works on keypass i'm not sure about some of these other applications i think buttercup is the same way once you close it out but as far as like those extensions i don't really like using extensions uh i like having it offline you know what i'm saying and i do my cloud backup so to speak myself by dropping it on my google cloud the database the encrypted database on my google drive and the only way you can get into it is if you know the password which you know if somebody gets my google drive account and grab that database they will have to try to crack that database which is very hard to do because of the encryption method that they use on it but i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below i always like having conversations with you guys about privacy linux you know it and all that good stuff so drop some drop me a line down in the comment boxes you know what i'm saying and i'll definitely get back with you or whatever or send me an email or whatever you know i'm down to help people especially dealing with linux and it so i hope you guys have a good night and keep it safe.